Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, we're going to do a video today over the three hoppers that I own and why I prefer to use one over the other on certain situations. Um, but let's get right into it. So I have three, uh, I guess, high-end hoppers at the time. Um, they're not the newest, um, but they're fairly new. Um, I don't have like the newest uh, rotor, the newest like Spire 3. Uh, these do just fine. I would you just go out there and play in the weekend. But um, other than that, let's just get into it. So I have three of them, uh, three hoppers here. We're going to try to get them all in the picture. Of course, I got the classic die rotor. Uh, robust, proven, quick, easy to take it apart on the fly. I also have a Spire 260. Making sure that's not the mail truck. Sorry about that. And then I have something unique that you don't see all the time, a uh, Pinocchio loader, which we'll go into detail about this. Uh, let's start out with the die rotor. Um, kind of like a quick review over it, I guess. It's not going to be like the longest review, but a little quick review. So uh, I have a just a unique uh, looking die rotor here. It's actually just, uh, I believe it's just a first gen. Um, but the good thing about our die rotor is they're extremely like uh, compact. See so profile there, it's pretty slim, and they sit pretty low on your uh, feed neck of your gun. Uh, and they don't hold a whole lot. They hold less than 200, I believe they hold around like 180, maybe a little bit more now considering the paint. But uh, these rotors are extremely quick. Um, that's what they're really well known for. So like back in the day when you're shooting like 12.5, maybe 15 at the time, uh, this was the hopper to get. This was like revolutional when it came out. Um, is really the first hopper that mainstream of being able to take apart really quick on the fly. And uh, I'll show you right here how quick it, e it is to take apart. You just pop the lid here. This one doesn't have a speed feed or anything. And you pull this tab here. See how the tab's up? You're gonna push that button. Ah, a little more bust. Take that apart, comes in halves. There's a little tab right here and it pops off. You got your batteries there. You'd pull these two tabs right here, take it apart right there, all the way down. And then you'd get in there and clean. You can clean like on the fly, and then just to put it back together, you know, just put it back in all right here. Take these, pop them over. Make sure that's good. Take this, take a tray. It's got speed ramp right there too, by the way. Uh, hang on, let me get it better in there, situated. Once you hear it pop, it'll be good to go. Hang on a second, I messed up putting this in because I was in a hurry. There you go, this goes in here. There we go. Now it'll go together just fine. Now I'll put this in here. It's pretty simple to put together. Pops in. Take this, connect it like that. Push that down. Turn it on, make sure it works. Works just fine. Uh, yeah, so it's super easy to take apart and clean on the fly. Uh, they feed really, really quickly. The only downside is if you're not using really good paint, like high quality paint, if you're using just kind of like white box, you can get jams, which is this little puller right here. You just pull this and unjams it. Um, but yeah, um, the only downside to this is, well, there's a couple downsides. Um, it doesn't hold a lot of, it doesn't hold a lot of paint. Um, you know, your pod traditionally holds, I think, 140 and a pod around that and this one only holds 180 so it's less than 200 um also uh another thing is it's not the heavy i'm not gonna say it's extremely heavy but it is got some weight to it it is a bit heavy but the weight isn't really noticeable because it's it's pretty centered like i'm not saying this is balanced because it's definitely back heavy but when it's sitting on your gun um the weight is pretty centered but with that being said like when you're tilting it side to side you kind of do or when you're snap shooting you do kind of notice the weight with it um, and the other thing it does, like, if I didn't mention this already, if you don't use in high quality paint, it does have the tendency to jam, which you need to pull back. So, um, there's that. But other than that, it feeds extremely quickly. It's a great hopper and it's definitely robust. Uh, nothing really to it. It's pretty straightforward. It's, it's, it's a pretty, it's like one of the pinpoint, one of the best uh, loaders ever made. Um, you know, it does really good. And I normally use this on, uh, I do have a I do have a brand new paintball gun that I have purchased. It's not new, but it's new to me. But um, I, the paintball gun that I purchased it, it does have a high rate of fire, uh, especially on uncapped semi. 
Uh, so this is perfect. This is this is perfect for like what I use that on. So on when I go to like uh, big games at WoW, like ramping and stuff, I'm gonna use this gun on the uncapped semi, and I'll use this loader because this loader will be able to fully take full advantage of that uncapped semi. Um, and I'll go over that new gun in a later video. Uh, but yeah, that's just a die rotor. Um, moving right along here, let's go and and I use that one on like occasionally. Uh, I switch between that and Aspire. The Aspire is the one I use the most, and I'll get into why I use that the most. But um, I use this one literally let my friends use it, or you know I use it just to use it sometimes. Uh, if I do get to play on Cat Semi again, like I said, I, I use that because that can really take advantage of that high rate of fire. I think they can feed up to 30 balls per second, maybe even more. Some people said they can feed quicker than that. Um, I haven't ever shot that quick, but I did play, um, you know, scrimmages when it was 15 balls per second, 12.5, and those keep up just fine. The next one I'm getting into is Aspire 260. Now, uh, this is the one I use the most out of uh, all of them, and there's a couple reasons why. So this one's the upgraded version. The standard holds 200. This one holds 260. Um, out of all of them, this one doesn't hold as much as the Pinocchio, of course, but um, with P the Pinocchio in its standard configuration, which I'll go over about that in the Pinocchio, this holds just as much, maybe a little bit more than the Pinocchio in its standard configuration, but um, look at that profile, though. Um, see? 180 with the rotor, 260 with that. See? It's pretty much the same, and then we're comparing them from side by side. You know, it's not that much, not that much bigger. Let's see if I can, maybe it'll be better if I do it on the table with the Phoenix. Let's well, see, they're pretty, they're pretty darn close. They're pretty darn even in my opinion. This one's just slightly fatter, but not by a whole lot. And it holds a lot more paint. And that's why I like to use this one. I don't like reloading. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. If I have to avoid reloading, um, I do it all the time, so if I can avoid it, I'd take that over any day than over speed. Uh, and speed's really not a thing anymore. Like, uh, you know, if you notice in paintball, especially recently, everything's kind of going back to lower balls per second, you know, lower rate of fires. Um, mechanical's really popular right now. So, like, in a tournament setting or in a field setting, 95% of the time you're going to be playing on 10 balls per second. Maybe even less if they uh, make you go down since mechanical is being big. But this can keep up with 10 balls per second just fine. 12 balls per second, you're fine to uh, 15, uh, 20. I don't think it's going to be able to keep up with 20. Uh, you need to get the die rotor out at that point. The die rotor can definitely keep up with that rate of fire. This one might have a little bit of problems. Um, another thing is this one, just the way this one works, this one constantly feeds, uh, the rotor does until it feels something that puts some pressure like that. So once you're out of paint, it constantly feeds and the pressure stops it from feeding. So it's always got a tension on the ball stack. Um, well, and the Spire doesn't have a tension on the ball stack, so it's not force fed. Uh, the Spire is uh, sound activated. When there's no paint in there, it pulses until the, um, take this off here. See that thing spinning until it feels Something stops and then it stops and then see it activates with uh, sound. Extremely gentle in paint, extremely bulletproof design. No jams. This hopper does not jam whatsoever. I've never had any jams with this. I've shot garbage white paint with this before. I've shot high end paint with this before. I played in freaking dirty situations with this thing. I'm talking like freaking mud chunks in it, stuff like that. Um, I played in really hot places with it. I played in really hot, I mean cold places with it. Never issues with that. Um, so never issues with my Spire. It just doesn't feed as fast as the rotor. Uh, super easy to take apart. As you saw, I just kind of popped this off. So uh, I'll kind of show you how to take this. a lot like the rotor. Uh, it just has a little less parts, so I think it's a little bit easier to take apart. But uh, you would just uh, slide this up, push that. That comes out. Got something down in there. Pull this out and there you go, boom. Um, out of the box, it does not come with the ramp. Um, I think the Spire 3 does. Uh, this is just a 260, but uh, you gotta purchase the ramp. The ramp does help out to kind of keep those last couple balls, push it down into the cone so that you can get it fed. 
Uh, it, it doesn't force, like you kind of have the little stragglers left, so you kind of have to move your hopper around to get it in there, not unlike the rotor, which the rotor will just force the stack, I mean, force the paint into your stack. So, uh, but, um, yeah. Putting it together is pretty easy. Uh, watch me as I struggle, though. The ramp kind of makes it a little difficult. Not too bad, but still. And it's in there. Pretty easy to put together. Pop it back down. Lock it down. That's it. But yeah, um, a little, a uh, little bit more about this. It has programming, so you can program this too. Um, not like the rotor. The rotor doesn't have any program. This does. I don't suggest going in there changing a whole bunch of stuff, but it does have uh, where you can uh, change stuff. To get into programming mode, I think you got to do something like this. Uh, hang on, let me try that again. Mm, am I doing it backwards? Ah, come on. I'll get it right. Okay, well, you got to take my word on it. It's something like that. Uh, let's see if I can figure it out. I apologize. There you go. Okay, did it. But you didn't see me. But you got to press this. Uh, so you got to press this button down first, let off, and then let off that. So you press at the same time, let off this, and then that. And you got a whole bunch of different colors here. You can change like the sensitivity, uh, how quick it feeds, how much pressure it uh, takes to turn the sensitivity off, all that kind of stuff. Uh, how sensitive the sound is. I'm not sure what each color stands for. Again, this is not a full review, just kind of going over uh, what I prefer. Then to get it back, you just press the power button, turn it back on. It's red when it needs to be, uh, when it needs more paint, turns blue when it stops. Flashes red when it uh, speeding. But yeah, so uh, like I said, this is the hopper I prefer to use. I just like how slim it is compared to uh, the rotor and the Pinocchio, and it holds just as much as the Pinocchio does standard, as you can see here. And it's super light too, if I didn't say that. It's really light. The Pinocchio is pretty light too, but it's uh, really light too. See, the Pinocchio sits up quite a bit higher, and they hold about the same amount of paint. Um, Here, the Pinocchio sits up quite a bit higher than the Spire does. Yeah, it's not a good angle from there, but from here it is, as you can see, it sits up quite a bit higher. Yeah. So I just, I prefer this hopper overall. Um, it's never let me down. Really good hopper. I recommend it definitely if you don't like to if you I mean it's the thing if you notice that the loaders are getting bigger and bigger because um, you have more of an advantage when you don't have to reload than when you do have to reload so and they're really slim you know there's no reason not to go with a bigger hopper so you can hold more paint um, even if you play like open play and stuff like that maybe not pump of course I mean you're not gonna be able to shoot 260 in one match you might be able to good for you if you can uh, moving right along now the Pinocchio. This is a really unique loader um, You don't see a whole lot of these especially anymore um, There is a youtuber everybody knows who is Mike from tech PB was really a big fan of these uh, when I was watching them around 2008 I uh, I got really into like watching his videos and stuff and I remember watching a review on this and how I can I uh, kind of how I came across is I actually went to my local paintball field wanting to buy a die rotor and they were out of die rotors so I bought this one um, instead and at the time they were like $150 let's see yeah $150 I still have the original box over there and the original box I'll get for you I still have the original box right there yeah you can't see the price but it's right there it's faded but yeah the original box for it I had the original box for all of them I just brought this one up because it's unique. Um, let's see if it has a date. 2007. Right there. Uh, yeah. 2007. So, I got that loader in like 2007. Um, and Mike uh, Phillips, or Mike from TechB, was a big fan of these. And uh, these are really cool, like at the time. Um, and I'm going to tell you a reason why I don't use it a whole lot anymore. But uh, this is a really unique loader. It's extremely light. Um... Hmm. I would say it's close in weight to the Spire. Let me see. Um, yeah, I think it might be a tad bit lighter than the Spire, but they're pretty close in weight. 
and it holds uh, I think roughly maybe 240 maybe a little bit more paint uh, now that paintballs are getting smaller so it holds right around the Spire 260 maybe it holds uh, 250 paintballs at the time nothing was like that when it came out uh, this sucker held a, holds a lot of paint still does to the standard um, it, you, it uh, operates really uniquely um, there is a finger up in there as you can see that little finger there so when you turn it on when the paintball goes past the finger it's got a little drive cone in there as you can see and it feeds it that way uh, it's just got an LED light uh, when it's low it goes red when it's on and your batteries are okay it's green when it feeds I believe it turns red yeah uh, it not like those uh, the other ones operate on uh, three AA batteries this one operates on two nine volts which is pretty cool um, it does kind of you know like like again it's extremely light but uh, I think it'd be lighter if it had maybe it wouldn't be lighter if it had the double A's but uh, again um, it just operates on two nine volts which is kind of cool because then you only need to carry one type of battery with you at the field and I use this as my main for a long time um, and the other unique thing about it is this comes off you can take this off and then if you really go on ham and you really want to get some people's attention this is why they call it the Pinocchio you attach this some bitch on and boom look at that you go from carrying around 250 paintballs to 400 probably more because the paint's smaller now but yeah look at that sucker I wish I had a gun with me to show you how big this thing is and it's not terrible like the front profile isn't bad um, but yeah you definitely get some attention it's like carrying a whole nother pod on on the top of your uh, loader um, it's it's awesome you know you go out there in the field you got like 400 the, the shoots um, yeah it's it's pretty cool um, but uh, yeah it's just I mean come on look at it it's ridiculous and uh, I use this at uh, Living Legend 7 as you can see I got my sticker right there there is actually a video from of me with my uh, white die i fours on Team and Sandy's video, just freaking shooting with this thing full. I mean, I'm just like at the final battle, I'm just waning of a paint on that flag. I was just uh, shooting, 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 shooting. I actually like for the final battle, I carried a uh, whole case of paint in my backpack. Like I carried a backpack on the field and I had a whole case of paint, like pods in there, and I was just dumping it in there, and I had two 6845s on me. Yeah, it was it was epic. Great time, great time. Good old days with the uh, CPX Sport. Um, the only upgrades done to this is uh, just the speed feed, Exult one. Um, it can feed pretty fast. Uh, I don't know if it's as fast as the Die Rotor, but it is faster than Aspire. Um, to so the reason why I kind of don't use it is um, it's just not as uh, convenient or as slim as the other ones are. Um, like again, speed isn't really a thing, and I can hold just as much with the Spire. Um, and cleaning it kind of is a pain in the ass. Yeah, you can go in there like this and wipe it down, but as you can see, my hand doesn't really fit in there very well. Uh, it does, but I'm talking like I can't get down in the feed neck very well. And I don't want to see my hands getting stuck in there, and I can't move it in. For the most part, I can get in there. It wipes stuff down, but you're, at the end of the day, if you get a really bad break in here or someone shoots your loader and it gets paint inside, you're going to have to take it apart and clean it. And that's just a pain in the ass because of the screws, this clamshell design, um, stuff like that. And over the years, it's kind of gotten brittle, as you can maybe tell. Like, it's starting to crack around here and the plastic's starting to kind of disintegrate. So I kind of just moved on. Uh, it's just kind of outdated. It can definitely hold its own today. It just make sure, you know, you're keeping the loader behind a bunker because just like any time but this one is a pretty darn big blunt target but uh yeah that's really about it um yeah just kind of about it and if you have any questions or anything like that about the loaders i have or anything like that shoot me a message uh, again thank you guys for watching i appreciate it have a good day